Just do it! Cooking a little, a little bit of, you know, breakfast. So there's a reason why I still play my PlayStation. Hold on. That's more like it. There's a reason why I still play my PlayStation 1. And the reason why I still play that thing is because it reminds me why I got so much into video games in the first place. The PlayStation 1 was my first gaming console. It was the first gaming console I played that I loved so much. And I couldn't stop playing it. And it was a social aspect. I could sit down with my friends, play the game, and like, now it's different. We have, you know, sophisticated gaming setups. And now we play online or we stream on Twitch or something. And then we talk about it at TwitchCon or VidCon or whatever. And I got a money sign on here because now I make money from streaming games online. So there's a reason why I still like playing the older games. Because it was more so about you just wanting to beat the game and having a social aspect instead of... Now it's like, oh, you're a gamer, you either have to make money from it, or stream it, or whatever, and this and this. Or play online with friends. Whereas, you know, play, the PlayStation games remind me, you know, the early PlayStation systems remind me that we used to hang out, play the game, and just vibe together. And um, not to say the new way isn't cool or anything. I like playing Fortnite or whatever. I'm just saying, like, the only game system right now that still has a social aspect, if you put them, you know, next to each other, is PlayStation. I mean, well, it's like Nintendo Switch is the only one that has it, and PlayStation was the one that used to have it. Xbox, not so much, because people could still play Halo online on the early Xbox. And then by the time 360 came around, online gaming had exploded on consoles. So... You know, that that's really that's why I feel like consoles were, you know, were competitive against PCs in the first place. Because arguably PCs are a better gaming system, you know, better better for your buck, better for in every aspect. But it was missing that social aspect because most PC gamers just played with each other over online. And they were the first ones to really do it. And then, you know, with now, P, you know... With consoles, that's that was your reason for getting a console because your friend had it. You guys play the same games, and then you guys could play together, whether it be LAN or you guys could bring your controllers over each other's houses and play split screen or whatever. And now that aspect is completely gone. Console gaming is like PC gaming now for the most part, and it's um, that that was a reason to even have a console. Now technically, you could still do that. Like, I can still take my PS4 controller and go over to my friends with a PS4 controller and play Mortal Kombat with them. But, you know, it's not the same because most likely they're going to want to play online for the most part. This is my small apartment. This is where I filmed the disturbed silence, um, sound of silence reaction video. Yeah, I kind of live here, but this place was only rented for me to make videos. Other than that, it really doesn't have that much of a purpose. Me and my girlfriend, we are avid gamers. She's a huge gamer. She likes. She has a PS2, I think, or a P and she still has a PS1. Um, we play a lot. Of, we play a lot of games together because she'll tell me what games to play, and I play 
whatever game she tell me to play, whatever. We kind of just switch games that we think are cool and we play them. And uh, you know, one day, hopefully, she can sit here and play games with me. That'd be cool, right? So, you know, it's it's so much better to, I don't know, it's, it's just so much better to play games with people, I feel like, in my opinion. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and peace. I'm not afraid to let go. Uh, you decide if you're ever gonna let me know. Yeah, suicide if you ever try to let go. Uh, I'm sad and all, yeah. I'm sad and all, yeah. Who am I? I'm not afraid to let go. Uh, you decide if you're ever gonna let me know. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Arlie, and I am here with another video, and I am reacting to Disturbed the Sound of Silence. I've never heard of this, never ever. So this would be the first time checking it out. Here we go. It's very peaceful. Is this a Grammy nominated performance? I like this. I like this. This is very peaceful and soothing. His voice is very, very subtle. It's not like just like hard on you. In restless dreams, I walked alone. Narrow oh. streets of cobblestone. Beneath the halo of a street lamp, I turn my color to the It makes me feel like I'm in an epic movie ending. Why does this dude look like Mr. Clean? He's writing music notes, okay. Dude, he, he seriously looks like Mr. Clean. Like the dude who has the Mr. Clean like magic erasers and stuff, like for real.
he's got that, I like that. He's got that strong emotional performance. I like it. Like his voice has kind of got a raspy sound to it, but I like it. It's so strong and impotent. Like, I just like it. It's just so, whew. That was good guys. That was actually pretty good. I like I went to the video expecting it not to be that good. It was the it was great. It was oh <laughs> it was amazing. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Make sure you subscribe for more. Thanks so much. Make sure you check out my merch. Make sure you come to my live streams, things like that. Turn on post notifications and that's all I need from you. Thank you so much. You guys are beautiful. Peace.